activity has been a little bit more subdued from the comparing to residential. All markets at the end of the day are localised. Um, generally there's been a gradual improvement of sentiment but funding or lack of it remains the, um, the critical issue. The vast majority of sales have been principally distressed and bought with cash. Uh, the workout on that is largely completed but certainly over um, the first or second quarter next year there could be some more distressed sales and it's likely to continue to be uh, dominated with, uh, with cash because bank lending essentially um, isn't there. The largest and most active market within the region has been Goy um, and if we look within the sectors of that the office sector has been the dominant um, sector. It's performed particularly strongly. There's been considerable uh, foreign direct investment and IDA approved projects which has led to a fairly substantial take up in, uh, in office space. That's led to considerable price uh, or rental growth. Consequently uh, there's a lack of supply and possibly the uh, possibility of some development in the, um, in the short to medium term. If we look across the other sectors, industrial has been largely flat. Um, retail um, is holding its own in prime areas, but secondary areas um, are, are suffering. I think we haven't yet sort of traded our way out of this recession. I'm not sure consumers are feeling any wealthier than they were a year or two. And that's the sort of underlying trend in retail is, is still that it's it's relatively flat, so outside of those prime areas um, there certainly hasn't been any rental growth or, uh, or price growth. Investment activity, as I said, has been largely concentrated within the distress sector um, uh, by cash-rich uh, speculative investors seeking um, a return. I think in the foreseeable future that's likely to continue. Finally, in development land, because of the recovery in house prices, it's becoming viable to undertake in some locations um, phased residential development and there's been quite a bit of activity in development land for zone service land both with planning permission and um, that without. There's been considerable price growth again in the better locations such as Galway and the outlying areas and next year we'd expect that to continue. Hotel activity has been limited. Again, the vast majority of sales have been distressed assets um, and similar with other commercial um, sectors, replacement costs remain far in excess of um, current capital values. Um, their trading performance will underpin values. Uh, I think the uh, workout of most of those distressed assets, those that were distressed are going to be sold, is now largely completed. Um, maybe some limited sales activity going forward, but um, I think the majority of that, that activity within that sector is, uh, um, is finished. Tourist numbers uh, look very positive. Um, the uh, Western Seaboard particularly is, uh, is doing very well, and um, I think we'd likely to continue to um, see that um, continue, particularly with um, the relative weakness of, of sterling relative to the Eurozone is making um, the, um, uh, the market that much more attractive.